Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we are playing Legends of Dota, which is of course made by Ash47. And specifically, we are saying you're only allowed to pick the Q. That's it. Only Qs. Q, 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 Q. You may only pick the first ability of each hero. So you have four ability slots and you can put four Qs in there and nothing else. We'll see what we can do with it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hello friends, we got ourselves Juggernaut and uh, we are pretty powerful, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, but actually a lot of builds in this lobby are pretty strong. So we have Blade Fury, we have Sticky Napalm, Charge of Darkness and Shrapnel. No ultimates because ultimates aren't on Q and only four abilities because I don't know, it just seemed right. So we've got uh, Sticky Napalm, Blade Fury, that's really strong. It is... I think actually a little weaker now during the early game because like Blade Fury now scales with our attack speed, right? But uh, that also means in a late game we can actually get increased Blade Fury um, attack speed and hopefully get some value out of that. And Sticky Napalm, that's just gonna, you know, deal damage with Blade Fury, Charge of Darkness to get close, Shrapnel as a way to scout and slow a little bit and another source of damage. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. We're probably not going to use Shrapnel all that much, not for a while. Like, it's going to be primarily Sticky Napalm and Spin, but, uh, yeah. Anyway. Hello. Coming in, just going to get a couple of hits in. I don't know if I can do this, but it seems like it. Nice. Got this, good. Gotta go. Uh, but we do have... Sticky Napalm. This is not worth going for, is it? Nah. Did you pick Medusa? And then forget to pick Split Shot. And you didn't pick Mana Shield because Mana Shield is banned. So now you're playing a hero with zero strength gain and no Split Shot. Good job. <laughs> Alright, so not every build is powerful, I suppose. <laughs> As you wish. I noticed that she picked Medusa. I noticed that the Medusa was Medusa and that she didn't have split shot and I thought that's a weird build. But I assumed it was intentionally weird, but I guess not. You ask, <laughs> I mean that's a kill, right? Nice. Sick. I mean, super easy this early on. We just kind of get close, spin him down. All right. I mean, Sticky Napalm isn't really even doing that much yet. But we gotta get ourselves this. We gotta get ourselves this. We gotta get ourselves one of these. And then we'll be all right. Oh, uh, side note. I don't know if anybody cares, but uh, I have decided which Dota hero is the best Dota hero of all time. I figured it out. It's Nagas Iron. It's Nagas Iron. I finished writing the Nagas Iron video. It's Nagas Iron. It's not even close. It's, it's just not even close. It's Nagas Iron. Nagas Iron is the most powerful Dota hero there ever was. Like, holy shit, that hero, even when she was bad, she was like one of the best heroes in the game. She was bad, like, she was actually bad at only one tournament. And that was only because Valve dumpstered her stats for a moment. And then they were like, oh, well, that's maybe a bit harsh. And then they brought her back. And she immediately started being good again. Like, God, Nagas Iron is... It's just not even close. I thought... I thought it was going to be close. I thought it was going to be Io. I thought it was going to be Lushrock. Um, but with those, I was always a little bit unsure. But I've now finished the Nagas Iron video. And honestly, I have zero doubt in my mind that Nagas Iron is the greatest Dota hero of all time. She's just so much more powerful than anything else that it's, it's a bit silly. You know, it, it, it feels just kind of like, huh. I don't know how... Onaga Siren isn't just like widely regarded to be this absurd powerhouse that she's just kind of this hero that flies a little bit under the radar, right? I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I feel like Naga Siren doesn't get too much time in the spotlight. Oh, I don't have spin ready. <gasps> I live? Oh, that's kind of crazy. But I am gonna have to go back. But yeah, anyway, if you ever if you ever get into a discussion. About, well, what is the best Dota hero of all time? It's Naga Siren. It's Naga Siren. It, it's just, it's just, you could take, to give some perspective, you could take Naga Siren, like, the day she was implemented. So back in 2012, 
you could take that hero as she was, put her into modern Dota 2, and she would be really, really good, if not one of the best heroes in the game. Like, if not actually the best hero in the game. Would not surprise me. That's how strong she is. And I'm not, I'm not saying this with, like, a caveat, oh, but she gets her modern talents. No, 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 no. Same stats, same talents, as in she doesn't have any talents. Same hero. And I'm genuinely convinced that that Naga Siren would be one of the strongest heroes in the game. Just to give some perspective on how broken I believe her to be. Like, that hero was insane. That's Naga Siren story of Dota. It's after Earthshaker. Like, again, I'm almost done with it. Alright, I'm coming in. Well, no, I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. I need to write the outro and the intro, but I've done editing and everything else. I just do the outro and the intro last, because that's when I have the fullest kind of like understanding of the hero. Yeah. Okay, coming over here, put down a little ward. So we have vision, so we can kill them. I need mana. How do I get mana? I mean, this is going to be a problem, isn't it? No, I'll just kill this guy. Yeah, our attack speed isn't high enough yet. To just, just punch him? <laughs> I'm out of mana. It's not a good idea. <laughs> it's not a good idea. We need mana, we need mana, we need mana. Hmm. What makes sense? Just literally get a Kaya? E-Blade. Ooh, E-Blade is gonna be strong, right? And it lets me build an e Alright, nice. We figured it out. We figured it out. This is where old E-Blade that builds out of a... That builds out of a Kaya would be nice, but that's alright. Eh, I can't get there. Wow, that cost rate. Am I dead? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> Sneeze. <coughs> but yeah, it's, it's just... It kind of blows my mind how much better than everybody else Naga's Iron was. Alright, come over here again. So I like uh, the Spur Breaker Charge, right? We just take our time. We just take our time. We get there by charging, no problem. And then we kill him with a spin. And everybody's having a great time. I mean, except for them, but that's okay. Right? That sounds like something I am willing to accept. And we don't care about these. So I'm just going to level up the Charge of Darkness for now. We'll get E-Blade. It's nice. It's a slow. It's just kind of a generally pretty powerful ability. You can pick up the bounty. Alright, I guess I will. <laughs> oh wait, do you have a bottle? No, you don't have a bottle. You don't have a bottle. Oh, is there another situation? Alright. This guy is kind of annoying because of the stuns. Alright, hello. This is not enough damage, but... Ooh, yes! Pangalier! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm very dead. Get him! No, <laughs> it's not gonna be enough, is it? <laughs> the Pango does so much, though. Yeah, a Sunrise here is a filthy build. Swashbuckle, Poison Attack, Frost Arrows, and a Magic Missile? Dear God. Although it also has mana issues. Now, there's not a lot of passives at uh, the Q. My Q slot is pretty much all actors. So, a lot of heroes are just not going to have enough mana. But that's alright. That's alright. We do need to build up more Sticky Napalm. But is, is more Sticky Napalm better or is faster attack speed better? That's the question, isn't it? We've got a slow. Another slow. Should be a kill. Because faster attack speed does just kind of make the Blade Fury deal more damage. And uh, more quickly, more often. And that way we also get some amp. 
But I mean, of course, we can just build up a little bit of this. Leave a thumbs up, or I'm gonna get even closer. Oops, this is no good, but so far it's okay. In we go. Is that enough? No, it is not, but there's a pango. Slow, nice. Just gonna keep stacking these. Yeah, we're not getting it. We're not getting it. E-Blade is coming in, that'll help. Just get a casual moon shark. <laughs> I know, that seems a bit silly, but I mean, I just, I need attack speed. I don't need anything else, really. Oh, I'm dead? Yeah. But the Sables are definitely powerful. Magic missiles in abundance. What are you doing? Taunt? Blade Fury? Is it enough? It may not be. It may not be enough. And Abaddon up at the top. So Abaddon has rage though, so it's actually probably not something we can gank, is it? Your mana issues. <laughs> they are gonna be common in this game. You know, if, especially if you're playing a, a silly hero like like mine or the Primal Beast heroes that maybe aren't the smartest. Is this ever a good idea? I mean, I'm just gonna bait out the rage. I'm not ready. It is under attack. Ooh, I don't like this. Oh no! <sighs> Lion! Every time! <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. If the lion just shows up. We're gonna be in, uh, in quite a bit of trouble because of all of the disables. And we had a good, like, early game, right? We were just dodging around, getting kills. But right now, it's turning out to be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> so, alright, we'll catch up. Come in here. Bonk. Spin. Nice. Don't quite have enough for a moon shard, but we're working on it. We are working on it. That is uh, the highest amount of attack speed that we can buy right now. This, I mean, butterfly is pretty good these days, but I don't think it really serves the same purpose of just like. Infinity attack speed that a moon shark does. Oh wait, no, I need my talent. That's okay. We'll get it in a moment. All right, token, fairy trinket, I suppose. I mean, we don't really have mana issues anymore. Like we had mana issues earlier, but that's mostly because this hero is just really dumb and doesn't have any mana. But now that we have a bit of mana, this is fine. Like we're okay. We didn't need a huge amount. Just, just a little bit. Just a tad. All right, okay. Oh, ho, ho. oh, but this is now a problem, isn't it? We're also gonna need an Octarine core eventually. Oh no, oh no, I'm fast, I'm fast. Nice, but any follow-up? <laughs> All right, coming in. I am trying my best. We got a kill, but they got me. <laughs> yeah, that was maybe a bit, bit much, bit much. Lots of heroes there. Oh, <gasps> Pangalier! That was some damage. So Agadim Scepter uh, lowers the cooldown and charge of darkness. We don't really care that much. Agadim Shard lowers the. What does this do? Hmm. Well, obviously we need that. Increases radius and applies a slow. That sounds fantastic. And then an Octarine Core just so we can slam it more often, right? Nice. 
Coming in. Bonk. Just need to split up. Somebody's gonna get stunned, but just as long as it's not all of us, we'll be fine, right? We can also reduce the Blade Fury cooldown some more there. Yeah, that's why I picked Juggernaut, right? Because Juggernaut actually has some relevant talents. We do care about the Blade Fury upgrades. They are actually really nice for us. Do we ever get Spell Life Steal? <laughs> do we ever get Spell Life Steal? Is that, is that normal, Dota? Um, yeah, yeah. It's just like the video I uploaded on April Fool's. That was also just normal, Dota. Can I say there were a couple of people that were like genuinely confused by it? And I find that to be very strange. <laughs> I mean, how could you be confused by something that so obviously is normal Dota? Anyway. What was I buying? Aghanim's Shard? Do we need Aghanim's Scepter? No. Octarine Core? I think I just get an Octarine Core, right? This now triggers pretty frequently. I mean, again, we could just build right click, but where's the fun in that? Where is the fun in that? I don't think we need an Aghanim Scepter anytime soon, though. Here's Octarine Core. Next up should be the shard, right? That comes on nine in a moment. Like we'll be able to buy it soon. Lincoln Sphere might also not be too bad, but uh, I don't know if we desperately need it. Right, our spin has a pretty low cooldown now. What is it? Eleven point three seconds. Like it's slow. I guess it's not that low. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. A little bit of damage. Seems unlikely we'll get much out of it. Yeah, we're fine. Yoni. It's actually a good idea. Kind of like it. So, uh, some nice damage that we can deal even while spinning. And it has... Uh, it has uh, a really high attack speed bonus. That we can benefit from. Although admittedly a butterfly would be good too. Just because of the evasion, right? But there's nothing stopping us from getting both. I mean, at this stage I feel like oh, we only care about attack speed, right? Just hit him. <laughs> the new secret tech. Hey! Yeah! Spin while charging. It does work. You can do it. In case you don't know, you can actually activate any ability that doesn't have uh, targeting while charging. So uh, we can spin. That's fine. But we wouldn't be able to use Sticky Napalm because that requires targeting. A couple of fun things you can do. You can do use like Primal Beast Trample during charge as well. Okay. Yeah, I think we just disengaged that. Go away. I have an E-Blade. <laughs> Bonk. Get some distance. Spin. Should be a kill, right? Nice. Run, run, run. I do need to be careful of the lion. Yep. And that's why Pango. Pango. Come on. One more swashbuckle. One more. One more. Oh, that's a shame. I think if the Pugna was hit by that, probably it's just a kill on all of them, <laughs> right? I think that everybody in that cluster dies. That's kind of crazy how quick that can go. Alright then. I have a bit of an annoying issue right now, like I have a... This is like agency that I work with sometimes. And in particular, for stories of Dota, um, they, they uh, have been a good place for me to get sponsors. And I've been uh, wanting to get another sponsor for the Earthshaker video that we're about to release. But uh, 
their website has just been acting up like crazy because they are doing some sort of back-end rework or whatnot and it just doesn't work properly. And uh, it's been a bit frustrating. So I'm just like constantly refreshing. I'm just like, come on. Because I, I need to stun soon, right? I don't know when this video goes up. Probably in a little while. It's probably going to be a while until this video goes up. But, um, you know, from my perspective, we're releasing the Earthshaker video in two days. And uh, I want to make sure that we have some sponsor there. Because uh, a little secret for y'all, but Dota is really hard to monetize. Like, the Dota audience is just not a very desirable audience for advertisers. Which means it's difficult for somebody like me to get sponsorships for Dota or for Dota content. It's just hard. Because uh, what do you sell to a Dota player? You know, that's kind of the question a little bit. Man, that's a lot of stuns, but we've got this, so I need a target. I'm thinking we're okay, but I should probably just TP back so I can come help in a moment. Because that's always the thing, right? Like, if I'm talking about Magic the Gathering, for example, but like, what do you sell a Magic the Gathering player? Well, you might say Magic the Gathering cards, and yeah, but like, okay, you can't really advertise those because that's like the core component of the game. But there's lots of other stuff, like deck boxes, sleeves, alternate artwork for cards, fancy proxies, a trading software, lots of lots and lots of stuff. I should have just gone in. Yeah, that's a lot of stuns now. We do have a spin. But now I have to go back again, so that really wasn't particularly effective. But you get what I mean, right? Like, there's lots and lots of different things that you can advertise to Magic players. But what do you advertise to a Dota player? What do you advertise to a Pokemon player? Oh, well, you can, um, well, again, like the same things I just talked about because of the Pokemon trading card game. But also, like, little plushies, you can do that, right? Or posters, artworks, lots and lots of different things you can do there. Because people just kind of like the Dota, the Pokemon characters for the characters, right? And for, like, the emotions that they invoke. You don't really get that with Dota. And that's why the only sponsors that exist for Dota are gambling. And that's just something I'm not very comfortable with, you know? Alright, we just kind of try and hit him. We do build up Sticky Napalm just by attacking, which is really nice. Hello. Nice. Got him. Now that's some power. But yeah, that's why Dota's only sponsors really are gambling. And that's why I've been really happy that I've been able to get some other sponsors for Stories of Dota. Even though they are not necessarily, you know, anything particularly fancy either. Like, they're just, hey, do you want to play this video game? But I think that's much preferable over really the only other options that exist in the space. So, Spell I Steal. I would like some Spell I Steal. Do I care that much? Is it that important? I feel like some magic resistance would actually be way better. Shame this doesn't give magic uh, Spell I Steal anymore. This is, by the way, also why Stories of Dota isn't long term, sus uh, long term really sustainable. Because even though the channel gets good views, and in that regard, it's totally fine, I can't monetize it in the way that I expect it to, or that a channel of that size should be monetizable, if that makes sense. Because it's Dota, and you just can't really monetize Dota very well. I think that's a bit unfortunate. But I feel like that has to do with the demographic shift of Dota. Where people always like to kind of doomsay about, oh, Dota is dying, it doesn't have players, radi radi da. And I disagree. I think Dota is doing fine. I think Dota is going to continue doing fine for a really long time. But I do think Dota has gone through a demographic shift that has moved it more towards Russia. It's just more and more Russian players compared to everybody else. And that's tricky. 
there's a lot of issues that come along with that. Alright, coming over here. I mean, people always talk about how North American Dota is basically dead. And yeah, that's pretty much true. I mean, sure, there's still players, but there's no competitive scene there. Not in any substantial margin. Oh man, you guys just keep fighting. Like, why are you always fighting somewhere where I'm not? I guess that might be my fault. Alright, I'm coming now. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can help out. I mean, I'm, I'm on my way. It's going to take a little while, but I am trying. I am trying. Nice taunt. Okay. Yes. Nice. Let's go. I actually got two kills with Shrapnel. <laughs> I mean, Shrapnel is really the fourth wheel in my build. I really only need these three abilities. I just took Shrapnel because I needed to fill it up somehow, right? Uh, but turns out Shrapnel is actually doing really well, so that's nice. Yeah, we're not getting that. Oh, hello. Napalm. Come on. It's not enough. Ah. Oh, no. I regret everything. Maybe I don't. Let's go, team. Spin. <laughs> oh, this time I regret everything. <laughs> Is there any ability that is affected by the number of modifiers the hero has? Doesn't the Omni Knight W do more if you dispel more things? I know that's not exactly what you mean. But I feel like there's something there. Or is that not how that ability works anymore? Admittedly, they have... No, it doesn't work that way anymore, right? They've reworked that spell so many times. I have no idea how it doesn't work, how it works these days. I think it's back to just being magic immunity, right? Okay, we have some money. So I think we just get this. E-Blade actually not that important, right? Like, it was good in the early game, but I don't think we need it anymore. So we can probably get rid of the E-Blade. I would rather just attack things, I feel. I think a swift blink makes sense. We can use that to get close. And we aren't dependent entirely on... Um, what's it called? On the charge. Which the charge is good, but it's not instantaneous. And sometimes you want to be instantaneous, right? Ah, now... Oh, no spin. That's okay. Keep our distance. Do we go in? It'll take a little while before I'm there, but I guess that's fine. Hello. Man, Spell I Steal sure sounds nice, doesn't it? <clears throat> the Omni Knight W gives strength per debuff on top of him. So, like, sort of, right? Kind of. Get another Moon Shard. 706 attack speed with the blink will be at what? 748. I think that's max for a juggernaut. But I'm not entirely sure. We could get rid of the eternal shroud. It does certainly help, but I feel like it's not that important. Tier 3. Ooh, a spell I steal. It's probably better than this, right? Like, yeah. Growth bow, boss a bit of attack speed. But I do like having the, um, I do like having uh, the spell I steal. Hmm. Nice. Turns out just punching him down kind of does the trick. That's an illusion, right? I already started the TP. I might as well finish it, but... Already 
I was uh, I was uh, baited into coming down here. All right, doing some damage. Oh shit, I gotta go. I gotta go. Go for this. That's right. Not go away, we gotta go in. <laughs> oh shit, <laughs> maybe we should go away. <laughs> I mean, if I'm just ever not stunned for one split second, but no. The power of infinity magic missiles. Yeah, that'll certainly take me down. I think it's very difficult to fight against them. I do find it, like, funny. Because I've worked with a lot of these um, kind of influencer agencies over the years. And I've worked with a lot of them mostly because they keep coming into existence and then dying. Right? And I think it's because all of them realize that, oh, wait, there is a niche here. And I agree, there is a niche. They do serve an audience that is worth serving. But, and by the way, that sounds, by the way, as if I want servants. No, they don't actually serve us. What they serve is they serve, um, like, companies that are trying to advertise. Those agencies just really, those are their real clients. The influencers are just who they are selling to, in a way. But anyway, that's not really so much the point. I do think they have a purpose. Um, but I'm just like, can you all stop pushing to main? <laughs> Please. Can we do testing before we push to main? That's that's all I'm saying. It's all I'm saying. Why do you all always just immediately... <laughs> immediately go to production with your shit? I don't know, man. I don't know. I like how we wipe because we dove their fountain and now they wipe because they dove our fountain. There are no branches. Oh, man. I mean, you know that's true, right? You know their GitHub is probably like on branch C100 and that's where they have their act like current main. So if you want to load into their GitHub, <laughs> you first have to figure out which branch is the actual main branch. And they've completely given up on doing further branches and they're just pushing everything to main and if something breaks, they hope to fix it after. <laughs> like, it's just I, just... I'm just dying. Please. Why did you push this? This is so bad. It doesn't work. You know what the worst part is? They just implemented... Like, the, the new system that they implemented um, has a kind of like... has a time limit on it. So after you apply for a sponsor slot, they accept you and then you have 72 hours to submit your, your thing, which is reasonable. That's actually not the problem at all. The problem is that the applying part works and the 72 hours works, but the submitting doesn't. So currently you apply, they accept you, then you have 20, 72 hours <laughs> to submit your thing, but you can't submit it. And I'm like, ah, please stop pushing to me. <laughs> How did she not figure this out ahead of time? <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, this is, it's just driving me a little mad right now. Do we have enough mana to ditch this and get the, the thing that just blasts people to death? I think so, right? I mean, this is definitely going a little hard. Wait, does this even work with, with this? Sure uses up my mana. No, it doesn't do what I need it to, though. Alright. That's fine. It's Bell I Steel. Ooh. I'm in danger. I am trying to run away. Okay. Um, I'm dead, right? I'm dead. I might not be dead. 
we might be dead. I don't know. It really comes down on your perspective of death, I suppose. Alright, we get Straka at least. I'm just kind of trying to deal damage, but I'm dead. <laughs> My damage output just isn't high enough. Like, that's legitimately the issue, which surprises me because, like, I'm... Well, admittedly, I'm not super committed into, you know, hugging on. I, but, yeah. So, the magic missile plus BKB was the strongest build. I mean, I said that before we went into this. I don't know if I said this in the video, but it's just going to be magic missiles, and magic missiles are the best thing you can do. I, as, honestly, like, I have a really powerful combination of abilities, but you know what's better than a powerful combination of abilities? Four magic missiles. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Look, Lion has four stuns. What else do you need? Nothing. That's it. If you could just stun your opponent, you're gonna win. Go get him, Medusa. You have 900 HP. I believe in you. I mean, probably shouldn't go in by yourself. That seems a little foolish. Dagon? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just get, like, attack. Ioscotty. I should actually probably get an Ioscotty, right? People keep running away from me. And they are mostly ranged, so... You know, Ioscotty, we can lock them down a bit, but it seems like we're probably just dead. I think we might be dead. <laughs> do I sell this so I have buyback? If I sell this, do I have buyback? I think I should, right? Yeah. I think it might be worth it. It doesn't really do anything. Keeping buyback seems better. Oh no, lion! Yep. Okay, got me, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, we got this dude. I need something quick. Just give me literally a item. I don't care what it is. Literally anything, please. I'm dead. Bam! We got we got magic missile to death. <laughs> we did get magic missile to death. The nice thing about this kind of build too is you don't actually have to pay attention to what items you build, right? Because you're just using magic missile. You get Octarine Core, get some tanking stuff, and then you just kill him. Alright, they got us. But that was a fun game either way. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, Akrit is fun. Thank you very much for the 41 months. That's very nice of you. Appreciate it. But yeah, I, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.